A few years ago, before Revenge of the Fallen came out, I wrote into Titan Comics' Transformers UK magazine. Attached to this letter was a piece of fan art that I drew. A movieverse blur design with electro spiky nunchucks. The letter and artwork won me an acid storm figure, which I'm very pleased with indeed. And so today I thought I would read out my 13 year old self's letter to the magazine that many a fan may or may not have read. Also, I like to embarrass myself like that. To exaggerate my obnoxiousness in this letter, I will be reading it upper class and wearing glasses. It reads... Hello Transformers Comic UK. I've been collecting the magazine since issue 3, though I skipped some issues, but started properly collecting at issue 6. The alternate reality story is brilliant, and the Beast Wars and Megatron Origins are excellent as well. I'm not going to state my favourite characters, because it's sort of stupid, and everyone does it. For example, Clear's vocal capacitor. <coughs> my favourite character is Bumblebee, because he is cool. Or, my favourite baddie is Frenzy, because of his alt mode. But he has many alt modes, so... What? I am going to say I feel I have too many Decepticons in my toy collection. Not to mention enough Bumblebees. <laughs> So, if I win the star prize, could you please not send any Decepticons? Another thing. I don't know why parents are letting four-year-old kids watch the movie. It isn't rated 12 for nothing. It is swearing, blood and violence, which I can handle. And what's more, it is live action, which makes it more realistic. Also enclosed is a picture of Autobot Blur as a Koenigsegg CCX. Oh, look at me, massive Top Gear fan which is how I would see him in the live-action movie. If possible, and if you really like it. Could you please include him in the comic? Yours, Joseph Powell, age 13. And so, with Starscream currently away on a mission of special importance, or sent to a very special home for the criminally megalomaniac, depending on whom you believe, Barricade and Ironhide had the pleasure of answering my obnoxious letter. And it reads something like this. Letting children of any age watch Transformers the Autobot Propaganda Movie is a direct violation of the Decepticon Earth Occupation Charter. We have yet to track down they, Kurtzman, and Orchie. But when we do, our attention will be long and painful. The only good part in that entire sorry shambles was when the dog peed on Iron Eye. <laughs> I almost passed Coolidge laughing. <laughs> Decepticon Earth Occupation Charter. <laughs> it seems your logic is as bad as your combat skills. Remember that time Bumblebee kicked your rusting metal ass across that empty lot? I'm not going to dignify such prattle with a response. All that separates the dream of the Decepticon's dominance over this world from reality is time. I'd say that all that separates this Decepticon from his grasp on reality is some head trauma. Maybe Bumblebee knocked something loose when he was pile-driving you into the asphalt. Ooh, <laughs> Looking back on this letter, aside from the fan art, which I'm quite pleased with, not my finest hour, or my finest letter. In fact, if you were to pick this up in your local news agents and read the star letter, you would think of me as an obnoxious prat. I think of myself like that as well, to be honest. So I wouldn't blame you. Have any of you guys' letters been featured in a magazine? Like this one? If so, comment below and tell me what you did. I know that WaspShot23 got his letter featured in the last issue of Amazing Spider-Man, issue 700, answered by the great Stan Lee himself. Well done, mate. Anyway, guys, until my next video, I'm Crosses 001. I will see you later. And the Beast Wars and Megatron Oranges... Oranges? What the hell is Megatron Oranges?